You're looking at a 1997 Jeep Cherokee XJ. Fully built with lots of really, really good stuff. I'm going to do a walk around video and show you what it's got. And I'll start up front here. Uh, so up front we've got a Terra 44, Terraflex Dana 44 up front. Um, with the uh, Terraflex high steer, one ton steering. Uh, Terraflex high steer. Uh, heavy duty knuckle. Um, it's got all the heavy duty bracketry, quarter inch steel, uh, of course the Terraflex diff cover, um, Terraflex truss there. Uh, it's got a custom track bar with the uh, heavy duty relocated bracketry right there it's all everything's welded and bolted in with grade 8 hardware uh, everything is extra heavy duty grade 8 good stuff uh, so we got the Terraflex Relocator brackets down here as well. Um, got a, a new steering stabilizer on there for the steering. Uh, got a Terraflex sway bar relocation. Right there. Quick disconnects. Super easy to disconnect right on the trail. the bolts for the yeah upper arms as well um, we've got Terraflex coil springs in the uh, front front axle we've got uh, Yukon 456 gears uh, with all the new install kit with all the seals and bearings and everything um, and it also has an Eaton an Eaton e-locker electric locker which is selectable all you have to do in the cab is just push a button and you're locked front and rear um, so it's re-geared for the bigger tires um, it's got the stronger shafts stronger axle shafts uh, Let's see. All one ton steering components. Uh, shocks are Rancho 9000 XL adjustable shocks. It's got like 12 different settings, I believe. And uh, you can really tell a difference with those to, when you change up the settings. They're really nice for changing up when you're driving on the highway and then get onto the trail. You want to soften it up they work really well uh, there's a brand new uh, Terraflex long arm lift kit uh, steel braided brake lines extended um, they've got the monster joints in them Got a double card and custom drive lines, Tom's Wood, Tom Woods. Here's a 
the uh, transfer case is an MP231, which has the uh, two high, four high, neutral, and four low. One of the best transfer cases you can get in the Jeep. It's got the uh, Terraflex Super Short Shaft SYE on it. If we go with the double car and drive line, make sure there's make it guarantees that there's no uh, vibrations and it, uh, it works well with the uh, steeper angles with the lift. Uh, you got these custom rock sliders here. Grade 8 hardware, super, super beefy, look really nice, bushwhacker flares, for the rear axle we've got a Terra 44 with the 456 Yukon gears, Eaton E-Locker, Terra Flex diff cover, um, new shocks, uh, it's got the uh, gas tank skid, um, full coil packs with the uh, extended shackles for, uh, for more flex and a little bit of added lift. Uh, we've got a JCR off-road rear bumper with uh, the in integrated Cree LED reverse pods, flush mounted, and also got a receiver hitch that is wired. Put the wiring up in there. Um, it's got a MagnaFlow exhaust on it. Sounds really nice. Not too loud. Got a, got a good tone. Good tone to it. But not too loud on the highway. Sounds really good. Uh, let's see. For the wheels and tires, we've got the uh, Goodyear Wrangler MTRs with Kevlar sidewalls. Um, and they're 35 inch by 12 and a half. We've got the uh, Pro Comp Semi B Lux uh, hubcaps and these handy dandy little valve stems from my fired 40 shells. Uh, I guess I'll just work my way up. Front bumper. Um, it's got the pre-runner. It's fully, it's uh, 3 16th still. Super, super heavy duty. It's got the uh, mining brackets that tie in all the way into the frame, all the way back. All the way back there. Which stiffens up the inner body and also makes uh, the mounting way stronger for uh, especially for having a winch. Um, it's got that on both sides. It's got the pre-runner stinger. Um, toe shackles. It's got the 8,500 pound super winch. Uh, 12 inch Cree LED light bar. Mounted underneath the pre-runner. Uh, Got these really nice uh, Cree headlights. Really bright at night time. They work really well. Uh, so you got these bushwhacker flares. I already mentioned that. 20% tint. And up top we've got a uh, Garvin uh, Expedition Rack. This thing is awesome. It's the full length. It's got a 50 inch LED bar up top, which is 
uh, it's got the amber option and the white option which has so you can either do amber or white and also has a setting for like flashes and uh, signals and stuff like that um, got the uh, Cree pods up here as well the brackets uh, those are really nice to have you can move them around and stuff too if you want to if you're looking for somewhere at night uh, on the rack we've got mounted the hijack which also has if you want it's got a spot where you just uh, you can throw a lock on it everything's lockable up there um, got the tire the spare tire bracket it uh, tightens down up top we've got the uh, the uh, back backwards lights see everything behind you at night got the shovel and the axe mounted up there as well so I might have to come back and when it's dark and show you the lights uh, let's see I'm gonna be missing stuff but I'm gonna try and get everything into the listing if I can uh, so the interior we've got it's got all the power options uh, power windows power locks power mirrors all that good stuff um, it's also got the cruise control works great uh, just cruised at 80 miles an hour all the way to Jeep Safari and back in Moab Utah about five hours for me um, this thing goes great on the highway Um, oh, sorry, the gears are actually 488 gears. I don't know why I said 456, four, but the gears are 488, which is really nice. A little extra power. I like, I like that setup on 35s a lot better than the 456. Um, here's the lockers. F for front, R for rear. It's as simple as... Pushing the button. Rear. Front. Locked, unlocked. It's got rugged ridge, uh, rubber floor mats. Those are custom formed to the floors. Really nice. They're super easy to wash out. Uh, really durable. So you don't have to worry about getting mud and stuff in your, your Jeep. Uh, Here's the uh, selection here for the MP231. It's got an automatic transmission, which is ideal for crawling, in my opinion. A lot easier to control. Uh, AC works awesome. Just had the whole thing redone. It's got flushed and new um, Freon and everything in the whole system, and it blows ice cold. Heater works great as well. Um, it's got a new Pioneer head unit, it's got the Bluetooth, iPod, uh, all the good stuff that you want on a head unit. Um, here's the, uh, the lights integrated into the air vents. Um, they keep the, uh, remote for the light bar up top right here it's pretty cool you can select what you want see it's the amber and then here's the uh, flashing option it's got different settings uh, this can go on a keychain or you can Leave it in there, or you can get a piece of Velcro for it and stick it on your dash or whatever you want. Um, Interior is in great shape, really good shape. Uh, the back, 
back seat. Rubber floor mats for the rear as well. These floor mats are awesome. Uh, so keep under the seat. Toe strap. Uh, some jumper cables. It's a hijack uh, base there. And a jack. And all that stuff you need for emergencies and recoveries and all that. Here's the back. It's got the uh, sound bar back here. Super clean, especially for the year. Really, really nice, actually. It's been really well kept. Uh, let's see here. I'll show you under the hood. And the tires are brand new. They've got one trip down to Moab on them. So, a couple hundred miles. Let's see, I'll pop the hood, show you under there. Got a brand new battery. Um, I think it's got like a five year warranty. Um, the receipts in the glove box. Uh, let's see. Got the tried and true in line six uh, engine. Super reliable engine. It's got a just fully tuned it up, got new plugs and wires and cap and rotor, all new fluids. Uh, I upgraded the fuel injectors to the four hole uh, Bosch injectors, um, which are a lot better than the stock ones. It's got can and filter. Uh, uh, synthetics. Good stuff. Um, let me uh, start it up for you. for a quick spin. See how it drives.
plenty of power with the 48 gears and the 35s. It's the optimum setup, in my opinion, especially for uh, driving on the roads and on the trails. Uh, Steering is really tight, really good. Uh, cruise control works great. Engine runs, engine runs really strong. Uh, shifts awesome. It's really an awesome Jeep. It's been a great, great daily driver for me. Um, and I've taken it on lots of trails. Well, not as many as I'd like, but taking it down to uh, Jeep Safari in Moab. Just up the canyon here, uh, locally. Nothing really too serious here, but Moab is is a good time. Um, crawls right up pretty much any obstacle I've taken it on. Uh, it cruises all the way there at 80, and all the way back home at 80. Uh, so. Awesome Jeep. We'll do uh, one more walk around. So the Jeep's got pretty much everything that you could wish for on an X shift. It's fully equipped. Uh, personally the best, most built, best done X J I've seen in person ever. And definitely up there on the top X J is probably built. Um, as far as being able to drive it on the highway and on pretty much any trail you take you want to take it on so yeah um, if you got any questions let me know I'm gonna try to have everything on the listing uh, but yeah just text me call me message me whatever thanks for watching